I'm not even sure where I want to start. <sighs> Had to put our little dog down a couple of days ago. And uh, we are still reeling from that. And so today I am doing a makeup that's just sort of being expressive of my mood, which is not super positive and upbeat. But sometimes we all have dark days and it's lovely that we can use makeup to express ourselves and how we feel. I'm gonna start out lining my eyes. This is a Sephora pencil in black lace. Well, that's very expressive for how I'm feeling. Naturally, with the stress, I got a big zit. So working on that. I'm going to um, put on some eyeshadow. This is the new eyeshadow palette that I got for free from NARS. It is called Extreme Effects. And it has a lot of these lovely colors. And let's start with the black or whatever they call it. This is the Sigma Domed Utility Brush. Uh, another Sigma brush from the same set. Uh, I'll drop the link down below. I don't know which exact one this is anymore because I have loved all of the information off of it. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with this tone right here. Yeah, I feel like that suits my mood. So this is just a clean brush and I'm just gonna smudge that down a little bit. Okay, let's add some, just a lighter neutral color just to sort of fill in this area. The eyebrows need a quick zhuzh. This 
just one of those little magic, God, what is this? Love your brows. God, you'd think I'd remember it. I did a spot for these people. I don't even remember what it is. I don't know. But I picked it up at Rite Aid or CVS or something like that. Okay, going in with just a light neutral tone to just sort of soften the outer edges of that. And of course, I'll probably go in in a few minutes and then darken all that up back again because now it looks too soft. Let's put some foundation on so we can stop staring at this huge zit. That would be nice. This is from NARS. And I will drop the links down below. This was sent to me at no cost. I wish I could tell you the name of this brush. I've had this brush for probably 20 years. And yeah, it's just something I picked up in, at Ulta, like I said, 20 years ago. Clean them regularly, take care, care of them, and they will last you a very long time. This is my Sigma brush. This is the Soft Blend Concealer Brush. And this is the NARS foundation in Santa Fe. It is the medium number two. Start with a small amount, see if we need more. This is a pretty full coverage foundation. I do still try to go as sheer as I can, but when you got a big owie on your chin, you can't really go that sheer. Hey, what place to put things on the arm and chair? That's kind of nifty. Oh, I guess I should have put concealer under my eyes. Oh well, I'll do it later. This is why I always have a hard time doing the foundation after the eye makeup, because then where do you, it, it, it's always weird to me. So I may end up with eight layers of eyeshadow. Thank you. 
Let's get back there under the eyes with some concealer. I'm gonna use the same NARS concealer. Oh man. I'm not used to wearing makeup. It looks heavy. See, this right here is where I always have an issue when I'm putting on foundation and concealer on top of the eye makeup. It just like, it's always weird on the inside corner because my inside corners are really dark. Okay, let's get a little powder on. I'm using Black opal, pressed powder. I honestly don't really need much. This foundation is not very oily. It's, it's a little on the drier side, so. Which makes it really great for if you're wearing a mask. Let's do some contour. I'm in a contour mood. And I don't really have a good gothy contour. So I'm gonna go with my Sigma blush set and I'm just using this, this brown, you know what? God. Yeah, you know, I'll do the brown tone. I really wish I had more of a dark purple. I do somewhere, but I haven't unpacked all my stuff yet, so this is what I have. This is an e.l.f. brush. enough. For my blush, I'm going to use, this is ancient, ancient. This is MAC Strata. I don't even know if they make this color anymore, but it's almost nothing. Good enough. Let's get some darker eyebrows going. Once again, my appointment to have my eyebrows re-microbladed has had to be pushed because of closures in California. I feel terrible for Pomi, who does my eyebrows. This has got to just be horrible for her business, but what else can we do? We have to shut down businesses in order to slow the spread and it's just it's so hard to see businesses going under and just okay you know so 
If you're watching this, Pomi, I'm thinking of you, I'm feeling your pain, and yeah, I got your text, actually, right as we were burying Kiko, so I feel bad for you. This is terrible. Terrible that our country's in this state. Okay, let's get some eyeshadow. I browse on. This is just um, Physician's Formula Eyeshadow Quad Canyon Classics. I use the dark tone to fill in and exaggerate my brows. I think I should, once I start unpacking things and putting them away, I need to find my eyebrow dye. It might be time to start dyeing them again. Tinting, pardon me. Sisters, not twins. Another ancient thing, Kat Von D tattoo liner um, in Trooper Black. I really need to get a new one of these. It's not as black as it should be anymore. And I'm gonna go right on top of that liner. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the same angle brush and I'm gonna go right on top of that liner with the same black from this palette. I like how it takes the shine off of the eyeliner. Touch up that tight lining a little bit. So I'm taking a small angled brush. I think this is e.l.f.? Yes, this is e.l.f. And I'm gonna just take some of this sort of champagne colored highlighter. Just right on the inner corner. I'm in a mood for nose shading. It's tough because my nose is crooked, so I'm never sure if that's helping or hurting, but it makes me feel better. Let's highlight the crap out of everything because that will make us feel better too. It's not necessarily goth, but I don't, I don't really care. Rules are made to be broken, right? Just because somebody says you have to do one thing for a look, you can do whatever you want, anytime you want. I'm in a mood today, aren't I?
Give the lashes a quick curl. Where the heck is it? There it is. Get the lips on. I may do more eye makeup, but I'm also going to do a dark lip. This is a Joja pencil in Vino. Revlon lipstick. It is a bombshell red 046. It's not dark enough. I'll give that a quick blot. This is a Jojo liquid Licks lipstick in 1988. Now that's dark. Darker, yeah, darker. A little bit more of the black. For my mascara, I am using NARS Climax Extreme. On my lower lashes, I used NARS Climax. It's not quite as heavy as the Climax Extreme. 
This makeup's gonna look really great when I cry it all off, isn't it? I love you bunches. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will talk to you very soon. And I would appreciate it if everyone would say a little prayer for Kiko's soul as he's crossed the rainbow bridge. You were the best dog, Kiko. We love you. Make up for the days you want to tell the world, you know what, six feet away might not be enough. <laughs>